there's no question we're products of uh, our geography. Hockey is in our DNA. We're the polite, good soldier, except when we step on the ice. Then we're the warrior. The 72 series is the ultimate example. There are people all over the world seeing this game in television in the Soviet Union, all over Europe, Canada, the United States. The 72 series was one of the greatest thrills in hockey history. It was the first time that we had the best players of Canada playing against the Russians. It was the Cold War. Le contexte géopolitique à cette époque-là, il était inquiétant. The one difference in the equation was Pierre Trudeau. His goal was détente, reduce political tensions, use hockey. It was going to be best on best. Four games in Canada, four in Russia. Et nous préparions les tocs avec ce que ça y est, nous préparions les sous Europe. I thought we'd win eight straight, handily. Esposito scored in 30 seconds, and we thought this is all over. And then the pendulum started to swing the other way. They're beating us. This couldn't happen. This is war. And by the end of that first game, hockey in the world changed forever. It was an eye opener that other people other than Canadians play the game. We learned the lesson that there's no entitlement. Canada was exposed and the NHL was exposed. Is this communism at work here? Is that what's making this team so cohesive? Et là, cette série-là, ça devient vraiment le combat entre l'Ouest et l'Est. Such an iconic moment. It's such a historic moment. It's a part of the Canadian curriculum. We only understand every year the coming. Hockey is our game, and hockey is Russia's game. And it really gets to the people, it gets to the fans. It's 50 years, and I still get goosebumps. You need to understand what 72 was. You need to know the history, the month, the lead up, the drama, the politics, everything that was ingrained. It was the Cold War at that time. But for a four week period, everyone put down their weapons and said, hey, we're going to have this battle on the ice. But we're going to shake hands when it's over. That was a great example for people in Canada and people in the Soviet Union. The 72 series was an icebreaker for a lot of reasons. It was the greatest hockey that was ever played.